Welcome to this hands-on lab on evaluating a foundation model using Amazon Bedrock. In this lab, we'll walk you through the evaluation process, focusing on both automatic and human evaluation methods. By the end of this tutorial, you'll understand how to assess the performance and reliability of foundation models, a key concept for the AWS AI Practitioner exam. To ensure a foundation model meets your business requirements, evaluating its performance is essential. Amazon Bedrock offers two evaluation approaches, automatic evaluation and human evaluation. Automatic evaluation measures a model's output using predefined metrics and data sets. Human evaluation, on the other hand, involves real people assessing the quality and relevance of model-generated responses. To get started, open the Amazon Bedrock console. In the left-hand panel, under Inference and Assessment, click on Evaluations. Here, you'll see the two evaluation options, Automatic and Human Evaluation. Let's focus on Automatic Evaluation. Here, you have two evaluation modes to choose from. Programmatic evaluation, which assesses model performance based solely on the metrics and datasets you specify. And model as a judge, where a pre-trained evaluation model automatically evaluates your model's responses against the selected metrics. Begin by creating a new programmatic evaluation task and giving it a descriptive name, for example, demo evaluation. And description, which is optional. Next, Select a foundation model, such as Amazon Titan Text G1 Express. You'll need to choose the type of evaluation task. Built-in task types include General Text, Generation. In this task type, the model performs natural language processing and text generation. Text Summarization. In this task type, the model summarizes text based on the prompts that you provide. Question, Answer. In this, Model provides the answer based on your prompts. And text classification. In this task type, the model categorizes text into predefined classes based on the input dataset. Next, select the evaluation metrics. For example, you can check for toxicity to see if the model generates harmful or offensive content. You have option to use available built-in datasets or use your own prompt dataset. You can use built-in datasets like Real Toxicity Prompts or Bold, or you can upload your own dataset from Amazon S3. Other available metrics include Accuracy Evaluates the factual correctness of model outputs. Robustness Measures how consistently the model performs under varied inputs. After selecting your metrics, Specify an Amazon S3 bucket to store evaluation results. Ensure you have an IAM role with the necessary permissions to write to this bucket. You can choose an existing role or allow Amazon Bedrock to create one for you. Once configured, click Create to begin the evaluation process. I'm not going to click it as provisioned resources are expensive. Keep in mind running evaluations incur cost because running evaluations need provisioned resources provisioned resources are expensive. Alternatively, you can choose human evaluation. This method offers greater flexibility. The human approach offers two options for evaluation. AWS Managed Work Team. In this, you can use an AWS curated work team to evaluate responses from up to two models. You can define evaluation metrics specific to your job. The other option is bring your own work team. In this, evaluate responses from up to two models using your own work team. You can define evaluation metrics specific to your job. Let's start by creating a human evaluation task by selecting the option, bring your own work team and enter evaluation name. Description is optional. Click on next. Here you can select a foundation model. You can also add another model then select and task type. Here, you have the additional option to create custom task types tailored to your business needs. With human evaluation, you can define custom evaluation criteria and select a rating method. 
Thumbs up slash thumbs down. Five-star rating system. You can evaluate a single model or compare outputs from two models side by side. Once you configure the evaluation task, assign it to either your internal work team or an AWS managed work team. Human evaluations allow for more nuanced assessments, which can be especially useful for subjective quality checks. Both automatic and human evaluation results are saved to Amazon S3. Once the evaluation is complete, you can review these results to analyze model performance, identify issues such as bias or factual inaccuracies, refine your model selection or further fine-tune your custom model. Evaluations provide valuable insights, helping you choose the best model for your business requirements. In summary, Amazon Bedrock's model evaluation tools, automatic evaluation and human evaluation, ensure you can rigorously assess the performance of foundation models. Automatic evaluation is quick and metric-driven, while human evaluation provides greater flexibility and human insight. Both approaches require storing results in Amazon S3 and setting up the necessary IAM roles. Mastering this evaluation process is essential for success in the AWS AI Practitioner exam.